Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually set up the event handler clicks for when the left and the right links on the keyboard have been clicked. So basically, when you press on the left, it slides to right, and we press on the right of this link, it slides the carousel to the left. But what we want now is when we press the right key on the keyboard, it does what this link does here, that is take us to left. And when we press the left on the keyboard, it does what this link does and takes us to the right. So let's go back in our code editor now and then um, hook up those handlers. So inside of our init function here, we're going to actually call um, a function called on on our document um, body. So we say jQuery document dot on key up. So basically, anytime a key up event happens, we're going to want to call one a function, and the function we're going to be calling is handle document key press and we haven't created that function yet but we will in a moment so it's called handle document key press okay so that handle document dot key press is actually as i said not created yet so we're going to actually have to call it inside of an anonymous function so we're going to pass the anonymous function inside here and since that anonymous function will accept an a, a single parameter which is the event that just happened let's call the function inside of the anonymous function and then pass in the event that happened so now that we've called the function that should handle when a key has been pressed on the document object here let's go back down and then actually write that function so we'll say ls advanced slider so that will also be a prototype of our whole um, slider. So ls dot ls advanced pro dot prototype dot handle document key press is a function, and it will accept a single parameter of e, which is what we passed in the event. So before we actually do anything inside here, let's first cache the parent that we normally work with. So we say parent equals to this. Okay, so what, just two simple things we're going to do inside here. We're going to check if the left key has been pressed. So let's um, do comments here to highlight what we're doing. So when the left key has been pressed, we'll do something. When the right key has been pressed, we'll actually do something as well, different. Okay, let me just um, fix that correctly. All right, so how we check if the left key has been pressed is if you see the e that we passed in as a parameter is actually an event so it has a property called key code so if we if the value of key code is 37 it means that the left key has been pressed and guys if you want to know more as to why that is 37 just go to google and search for keyboard press um, key codes just do a quick search um there's lots of information out there telling you what's happening what um this means so yeah so let's continue checking if um what what the key code will be if the right key has been pressed on the keyboard and i just happen to know that it will be um the value of 39 so e dot key code when the right key has been pressed is 39 so we'll actually handle the event differently when it's 39 so basically when the left key has been pressed we want to slide the document to the right so that would be a very simple thing to do so we'll say parent dot slide right okay and when the right key has been pressed we're going to say parent dot slide left okay that seems to be okay all right so let's go back in our browser and then refresh and then see what happened so i'm, I'm pressing the right key actually right now right key right key right key all right so that seems to be working fine as you notice guys i'm not press clicking any of these links to move the carousel so i'm pressing right now i'm pressing the left key left key left key left key and left key okay all right it seems like that's all we have to do for this um clip so guys um probably i'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching and please do subscribe if these videos are helping and um yeah and do rate and comment if you like more tutorials just let me know and um i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye